Uh, I want to beat this game. Uh, and I'm hoping that I'll finally be able to beat this game while recording it. Um, maybe now that I'm older, I have a better control over what I'm doing, what I'm thinking about. It's one of those things, like, I feel like as I grow older, I start to f uh, figure out what things mean and what uh, the best way of doing things. So, there's that. Uh, this game was also very generous with its health. Uh, they went by the hundred, oh god. Uh, they went by the hundred, um, hundred star, uh, method where once you got a hundred, you, uh, got a free life. And getting a hundred stars isn't actually that hard. I mean, each one of these counts as, uh, one, and each blue one counts as, like, five, I think. So, and these count as, like, twenty-five, or ten, something like that. Or is there something over here? Nope. Okay. Uh, here was a little checkpoint thing. So if you did die, that's where you would be. But if you, I mean, if you died, died, like you had to bring out life, and you would start back at the the workshop, and, or the yeah the. You just start there, and you have to do the whole level over again, which is really annoying. But I mean, at the same time, it still gave a fair advantage. Or, or I mean, it still gave. I can't think of the word I'm trying to use. Um, I just can't think of the word I'm trying to use. These guys right here are always the pain in the ass for me. Um. Oh shit. Because. Oh shit, what the f Get up there! There we go. Yeah, they're always the pain in the ass for me. Uh, they always hit me. I can never, uh. get it right. Alright. But, uh, but yeah, going back to what I said earlier, you won't really find this game, the PC version of this game, that is, on YouTube. And if you do, it's probably my video that you'll find it on, about. I don't know if that's because maybe the PC version was just a rare thing, or maybe it was just an unliked version of the game. But I absolutely adore this version. I'm... I haven't really looked that much into the whole PC version. Every time I try to look it up, I always just find the GameCube version or the PlayStation version. I never uh, come. I never see anyone actually uh, playing the uh, the PC or the PC version. Just the PlayStation and the GameCube version. What was down? Oh, this is the city there. And there's a free life down here. So look, see, as you, as you can tell, this game is very generous with its lives. Uh, I already have ten, I started off with like five. And it's only World 2. But, in a way, it's also kind of telling you, hey, this game is about to get harder. Which it is, because like I said, I've never beaten this game. I've always died on like, the far as I got on is like, I think on World, I think the last World, but on like on the first level. Something like that. Alright, so I think that's all of them. I'm gonna wait for this thing to. There we go. Get the milkshake. I don't really understand the purpose of them. I never really understood the purpose of the milkshake. And now. I... Oh, there we go. Yeah, I never really understood the purpose of that milkshake. Like, I. I guess he. Whenever he gets sugar, I guess he just gets hyper. I don't know. Let's see, which world is this? This actually might be that world. Uh, maybe. I also really enjoyed, like, on how there's, like, two different, um... I think it's the, uh... Front two are a view like this, and the other two are, uh... The, uh, side-scrollers. So these ones have a more 3D look to it, and then the back ones are like the side scroller. I don't know. It's just, it, this whole game was just interesting to me, and I don't know, it's just because of the fact it was Don Duck, and he's like one of my favorite Disney characters. Iron or ironically enough, my name is Donald, and it, I, I don't know. But, nevertheless, I, I don't know what it was about this game, I just loved it. Maybe it was just all the colors. 
how everything just worked for me. I didn't... I could also honestly say this is probably one of my first games I ever played as a in my childhood. I didn't play many games growing up. However, the few games I did, I played them until my fingers went numb. Um, my first con console that I owned was a uh, PS2. Uh, my sisters owned a PlayStation, and I had a few games for them for the PlayStation. Once I went to college, I played it the most. And I guess this is where my kind of game, uh, where me liking games so much kind of grew from, was from the from the little PC games I had, and from the console games I had uh, growing up. My first console game that my first console was my PlayStation 2. That was the first one that I ever owned. My first game for my PS2 was Kingdom Hearts. King Kingdom Hearts is and forever will be my favorite game. Um, I don't know what it is about it. I just really love Kingdom Hearts. It's the style it may be, or the meaning behind the game, the feelings you get. It was to me is one of the best games that Disney helped create. Um, get this teddy bear first. All right. Now I'll come back and get those stars. There we go. And I got these. Alright. But yeah, it was... Kingdom Hearts is just... If you haven't played Kingdom Hearts, I really recommend that you do it. It's just one of those games that has to be played. And I'm sure there are some people who don't like it. But there's a really good amount of people who just absolutely adore the game, such as myself. Because there's really nothing wrong with... I mean... Final Fantasy characters and Disney characters, you wouldn't think that these would uh, mix. you think these two realms would be completely um, different. However, it just somehow works. And I died. That was my own stupidity. But yeah, it just somehow works. And it just flows together. And I don't know. I will say this though. I've never played a single Final Fantasy game, and I kind of want to. Uh, and when I say I've never played a single Final Fantasy game, that's not entirely true. I played one, but the console I played it on was not the console I should have played it on. And by saying that, I played it. I played one that was on the Wii, and I don't remember which Final Fantasy it was, but I can tell you that I didn't really enjoy it. However, I heard lots of good things about it. I've just never had the time, nor money, nor the ability to play the older ones. So that's something I want to try to do. I doubt it would ever go up on the channel, it'd be one of those things that I play on my free time. However, unless that's something you guys would want to see, then I'm all, then I'd like to know in the comments. But it's all up to you. Speaking of that though, if there are any requests for games you want to see me Alex, Julian, or all three of us play, let us know in the comments. Uh, the comments are a great way for us to um, get to know what you, the fans, want to see us do, play, make choices, such as maybe in, um, such as in, uh, Life is Strange, if there's a certain way you think we should go, or you think I should be going about the story, I'd love to, uh, hear it. If you think I should just be more friendly towards people, or start acting like a douche or think more strategically about it I want to know I want to know what you guys think would be more entertaining and that's the same goes for video games granted we don't have much money to afford games but we will do our best to get what the content that you want but that being said like or with that being said and like I said just message in the comments that's the best way to reach us uh, we check every single comment we usually reply to each every comment uh, 
And if we don't reply to all of them, we usually try to acknowledge it by liking it, depending on what the comment says or etc. Um, even if you have something maybe negative to say, tell us. Because even negative comments can kinda work beneficial. Because those comments we can also figure out, hey, what's wrong? What don't you like? Let's see if it's something that we can fix and etc. I mean, and with that being said, I don't want to, I mean, I mean, there needs to be like some sort of cap on that, but just take it easy. <laughs> We're only three people, three guys. Um, ooh, that one was hard to get. These things are to, these things start to get hard to get because you gotta be fast, and if you mess up just one little time, it's all over. Oh, skunk! There we go. Brother. All right, sweet. So we got all the gold pieces. We got all the teddy bears. 